Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know you have bad rod bearings and you should change it before you damage your engine? For most people, when they hear they have bad rod bearings, automatically they think their engine is toast and it's time to change it. But that's not true because sometimes if your rod bearing is barely failing in the initial stage, you can actually replace it and still save your engine. Here are some clues that you know that your rod bearing is failing and it's time to change it ahead of time. The first sign that you know that your rod bearings or any engine bearings such as a camshaft bearing or main bearings are wearing out is that when you change your engine oil and if you see metal particles or metal shaving, those are going to be your bearings. Also, when you change the oil pan gasket and you remove the oil pan, and again, if you see metal shavings and metal particles, Again, those are going to be your bearings. The next sign that you know that your rod bearing is failing is going to be knocking noise, rattling noise, striking noise coming from the engine block. So this part here is the rod bearing and this part here is also the rod bearing. And the rod bearing is mounted to the crankshaft on the rod bearing journal and it goes like this. So when the rod bearings become worn, the bearing become thinner and this will cause increased clearance between the rod bearing and the rod bearing journal. So when this happens, there will be more play. Here's an example of play when there is too much clearance between the rod bearing and the rod bearing journal. As you can see there, it is rocking. So. When the piston is traveling up and down, it's going to make that knocking noise. And when the rod bearings become extremely worn, this is going to cause a bigger clearance between the um, rod bearing and rod bearing journal. And it's going to sound more like a striking noise. As you can see there, the sound is completely different. So again, when there's too much clearance, is going to cause the piston to strike against the uh, combustion chamber. It's gonna sound like a very loud striking noise. And if the rod bearing is barely felling, it's gonna sound more like a mild knock noise. Of course, these noises are going to increase as the agent RPM increases. The next time that you know that you have bad rod bearing is the oil pressure warning light turning on. So if the oil pressure warning light turns on and you're getting that knocking noise and striking noise and you have metal shaving and metal particles inside your engine oil and you're getting an engine misfire and you're starting to have engine performance issue, those are could be signs of bad rod bearings. In addition, if it feels like your engine wants to turn off every 10 seconds or so, this is because you're starting to have compression issue due to bad rod bearings. When rod bearings become extremely bad, the rod bearing can literally start to seize against the uh, rod bearing journal over here, or it can become loose for some reason, and then you're going to have what they call spun bearings. When your bearings become spun, now this is at the most dangerous stage because now your engine can actually lock up and seize. If you want to have a healthy engine and you want your engine to last longer, it's very simple. All you need to do is just change your engine oil, change the oil filter on time. In my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to change your rod bearings. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.